flex templates in this video we are going to do hands-on experience of creating our first flex template in the second part i'll give you the introduction about prompt templates its type how this flex template works behind the scene so as of now our goal is to create a new guest letter using the flex template let's get started so we are in already in the salesforce environment don't get worried i'll give you the link which you can follow to create this environment this org for yourself but as of now let's focus on the hands-on experience of working with flex templates let's go to the setup and search prompt prompt builder so this is the place where we create our uh, templates you will see some of the templates are already standards given here but on the top right go to the new prompt template and this we need to create our type as flex because this video is about flex templates let's give this uh, template a name new guest letter give a description uh, newsletter for our new guest to the resort this is important in a flex template you can select up to five sources from where the data is coming from this can be internal this can be external but as of now all our data is flowing for the creation of newsletter is from the experience which is giving the api name object is from on which this will be running is experience we can add more sources as we need but for now for this tutorial we are creating one experience basically we are using one object to create this template click on next this is where the magic will happen just to understand uh, this workspace on the top you have where the instructions are given for the prompting on the bottom you have the resolution basically what are the instructions are given uh, we use the grounding uh, all the data is being shown and what is being passed to the llm LLM is the models that being used that is the response is being generated for that and here we need to select what of uh, the username or the object that experience need to be related to in this case this experience is all about some activities we'll use that and use save and run and on the right you have a configuration which model you want to run so i'm just using a standard open eye uh, gpt4 model now the important part part is you need to train this model using prompting let's give him some instructions as of now so you are director of sales at a resort so it's just we are doing the training uh, so aiu knows what they need to reply back when we use to create this newsletter write a newsletter which excites new guest uh, visiting our resort so it's excitement for them and tell them about the given selected activity which we'll be using in the experience here follow the below instructions instructions to create the newsletter so it's the instruction that i need to follow so we're just giving the instructions let's give one instruction say just i'm just creating random here say hello to them let's do that take motivational vacation code so the people are on vacation just give them some motivation to enjoy and third is let's say include experience name location and details let's try how this runs because it's very generic so this means training is not done properly but i just want to show you how it works let's select any experience sunrise uh, let's say sunrise yoga and language we don't select save and preview let's see how this llm uh, open chat gpt created our newsletter as a agent force agent it's making my life easier that's the whole purpose of using ai in salesforce it's taking time it looks like my internet is slow oh, chat gpt is going slow so here we have our first response being generated. welcome to our stream resort see it's creating excitement 
uh, the world is book and those we do not travel read only a page very good so it followed some instructions and if you see uh, it has given the activity known as sunset serenity located our private beach it's trying to make some very generic and then it's best regards your director of sales very good so now another thing is it's uh, using random data from the uh, from the online platforms why not make it uh, to use the real data of the clients this is what is called grounding give them the real experience so let's give them experience name for that we you need to go this resources what is a we have to go to that object select that what was the name let's see experience name so we are doing the grounding location uh, let's do the location also experience you know say location and details also let's do that so let's go to experience it should be uh, details field yeah. description yes so now we have given some grounding it, we have given some boundaries the data it should work on let's run this time and the version one of the guest newsletter was saved it will create automatically versions for us if you see on the top it, it's how it is done so now it has given hello and welcome this 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 so this time it have used what sunrise yoga the activity takes place at this space see the location is mapped and also the more description start your day with sunrise yoga on the beach this description it is taking from the behind the scene if we go back to the experience you will see for the sunrise yoga we have given that information so this is how you create your plus uh, uh, flex template very straightforward very easy now let's go back behind the scene as i promised uh, now it's a part of the theory what is happening behind the scene so what we did was we went inside the prompt template there are different type of prompt templates we focused specifically on flex template flex template is used for business purposes where you can create these newsletters you can create sales emails uh, to define multiple sources from the data where the data is coming from another thing is uh, where you can automate your creation of pdf newsletter we did that already social post emails newsletter that's a purpose of a flex template uh, we did the hands-on as i promise you can follow step by step instructions given in this trailhead to create your flex template also but what i want to show you is behind the scene how this flex template can be invoked what was happening is the whole purpose of salesforce is to have low code what we can use is we can use flows we can use apex we can use rest api we can use copilot action to launch this flex template uh, what it does it it uses the prompt flow from there the prompt is called behind the scene the prompt is sent to the llm uh, using the einstein trust layer basically this is what the guardrails the grounding the language we can make it more professional everything happens in the einstein trust layer and the data is not retained by these llm mo model this is called zero retention policy and then where it goes to open chat gpt returns that information back in the response and it's being shown in that flow so this is how it happens behind the scene of it uh, i can give an example the newsletter that we gave we can give it more instructions for example use clear and professional that this is what i'm training that and with cta to asking them to follow our website let's try to run this time we have given more instructions and see how it follows this is what we are giving more instructions to the llm using the einstein trust layer which follow these protocols and it generates it if you see that looking forward to welcome you soon a unique experience visit our website to learn more information i think we can train more if you like our video on youtube for our motivation please subscribe and like our channel so thank you again for watching this video on flex template in the next part what i'll do is i'll create a flow uh, from the flow we'll invoke this flex template so here we are to help you to learn real uh, to learn the real purpose of agent force and learn salesforce in a hands-on experience but we need one promise from you 
if you enjoy this video video please subscribe and like to our channel even this is chat gpt is saying that and in the next one we'll talk about the flows thank you and goodbye uh, till our next video